Hello everyone, happy Thursday. So today's video, we're gonna be trying out the new Sailor Moon collaboration plus more. But you guys know, I have been so excited to try out this collaboration with ColourPop for so long. I unboxed it last week when I filmed and a lot of you guys said in my Saturday video that you wanted to see it for my Thursday video here. So that is what I was saving it for and I'm like, ah, I'm so excited to get into it. But anyways, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. I upload three days a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays, I upload mommy content, like routines, lifestyle, sit down videos, all that fun stuff. And then on Thursdays, I do a makeup related video such as testing out some new makeup like we are today. And then on Saturdays, I show you guys all the new beauty launches for the week. So definitely click that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with when I upload, which is usually, again, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so first off, I need to put some lip balm on my lips because they are so dry. I have been loving this. This is from Tatcha, they sent it to me. It's the Kisu Lip Mask. I use it every single night. If you want the most hydrating, like I'm telling you, the most hydrating lip balm ever or a lip mask or whatever, you need to pick this thing up. It is so good, a little bit goes a long way. I made the mistake of like grabbing too big of a little scoop of it and I was like oh my god there's like it really moves well and yeah a little bit goes a long way with it but it is so so hydrating. It's amazing. Pick it up. Highly recommend it. Now I already have my skin moisturized with my Tula. This is the hydrating day and night cream. I love this stuff. As you guys can tell, I'm a huge lover of moisturizers. I think moisturizers are now like one of my favorite skincare products to try out. Tula is awesome. I really enjoy it. I did try out this, the daily facial moisturizer from 4th Ray Beauty, but it's just a little bit too fragrance for me. I actually prefer my moisturizers to not have any fragrance in them. And I feel like the ones that do tend to aggravate my skin and I'm going through a really bad breakout right now in my T-zone, just like right up here, which is so weird. And then over here. So it's, I must have used a product that my skin didn't like. I'm not sure what it was, but yeah. So I definitely prefer moisturizers that do not have a scent to them. And that's why I really like the Tula one. I think this one is great if you have normal to dry skin. Um, they have, I think they have a gel one that would be really good for oily skin, but this is a great nighttime and a great daytime moisturizer and it's great for sensitive skin. So I love that. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a new primer here. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Longwear Foundation Grip. It preps, smooths, and perfects. So I like the component of it. It reminds me of the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It makes it really easy to squeeze out like so. Um, I haven't had the best of luck with Urban Decay primers in the past, to be honest. I feel like some of them peel up or break up my makeup or they break me out. So let's just cross my finger, crossing fingers that this one does not break me out today, but I do like the way that this one feels compared to the other ones I've tried in the past. It actually feels like a really good primer. It, like it's tacky. It does feel like it creates a barrier on my skin. It's a little bit thicker of a primer. I'm used to always using more of a moisturizing blurring primer for like from Tula or oh, what was another one I used a ton? Oh, Smashbox. I love Smashbox. Even skin tone one is a great one, but yeah, this one feels good. It's nice and tacky. So I definitely see where they're saying like the grip, like it's gonna stick on there. For foundation, I have this one from Urban Decay. I think it's going to be too dark for me. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it. I actually have my NARS Mont Blanc here that maybe we can mix in a little bit. I self tan, but it just didn't really stick to my chest. Like my chest isn't as dark as the rest of my body is. Um, but we can always like kind of mix them together and see how that will go but this is their Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation and 51YW. Oh yeah, you are dark. I don't know if you're gonna work for me. <laughs> Not at all, I don't think so, but you know what? Let's just play and have some fun. So I can definitely kind of make my own little shade here. Oh, you know what? It kind of looks a little bit, looks a little bit lighter. It might work for me, hang on. I can always drag it down and we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, it's a little dark but I feel like my tan got a little splotchy up here, so I definitely need to fix that tonight. But you know what? I think it might work a little bit. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of Mont Blanc in it just to kind of cool it out a bit so it's not too orangey. I just take it on here and I mix in. 
I think that would work out really well for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this really quickly. You made a mystery out of love. Breathe in new life in my lungs. Why would I ever run? You brought new light. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no mistaking. You're the only one. foundation is on. It definitely has a matte finish to it. So I think it would be definitely long wearing. Usually matte foundations are usually a lot more long wearing than any radiant or dewy foundation is. Um, I like it. It definitely looks like I'm wearing makeup. So it kind of definitely reminds me a lot of my NARS one. Like as you guys know, my NARS one is a holy grail for filming and events and special stuff. But for every day, it's not my favorite because I like it where my skin is a little bit more breathable because I do suffer from breakouts and sensitive skin. So I love my Aqua Foundation from Kogan Do and also my Kosas, like tinted oil. Like those are my two, two faves right now. But it looks really, really pretty on the skin. It definitely has good coverage. So next up, I'm gonna use the concealer that goes with it. And this one isn't fair. It's in 20WY. I don't know why I, got, I requested a fair one. I, I don't know why, but you know what? We're gonna mix it a little bit with my Oat Concealer from Hourglass. This one has a little bit more of a yellow tone, so I'll kind of mix them together, just kind of how I already do Birch and Oat. So we're gonna do that. So that way I can at least test this guy out, like so. The applicator on that is very interesting. I definitely think my Hourglass Concealer added a little bit more luminosity into the Urban Decay Concealer. I definitely feel like the Urban Decay Concealer is going to be a little bit more on the matte side. So if you like a little bit more of a hydrating concealer underneath the eyes, I would definitely recommend going more the Hourglass route or even CoverGirl True Blend is also a really good one as well. But it's a nice concealer. I think those two actually mixed up, mixed really, really well. So I like the way that they look and blend it into the skin. So we've got those done. All right, so for underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this powder from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know this is like my holy grail powder. I love it for underneath my eyes. It's a little bit lighter than the other powder that I'm gonna use to set the rest of my face. I don't wanna set my whole face with a darker powder because I wanna keep those areas a little bit more highlighted. So I'm just going to dust this underneath. Again, if you have mature or dry skin, I definitely recommend picking up the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I think it does wonders. Another inexpensive powder that I love is the blotting powder from Cover FX. That one's a little bit cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury. So if the Charlotte Tilbury is gonna break your bank, definitely check out the Cover FX blotting powder. They have a couple different shades. Now going into this Urban Decay powder, Stay Naked The Fix. This is in the shade medium and it's neutral. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really nice. And then, ooh, this looks yellow. <laughs> um, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna use my trusty Mr. Right brush from Too Faced. You guys, I'm telling you, if you need a brush in your collection, it's this one. This thing does it all. It is one of the most amazing brushes, hands down, I've ever used. And I have two of them and I will never let them go. Which by the way, I need to really wash my brushes. They are bad. So I'm just gonna use this to set the rest of my face. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of coverage on, so we're definitely gonna be using some spray to melt it all together. Fight and evil by moonlight, win and love by daylight, never running from a real fight. She is the one named Sailor Moon. She will never turn her back on her friends. Do, 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 do. I've had that song stuck in my head ever since I opened up the collection. That didn't rhyme, but well, well. All right, so powder is done. It definitely gives you a little bit more coverage and gives you a very, very matte finish. Like I feel like my face right now is so matte, like so, so matte. And I feel like it's, I'm also not used to wearing such thick foundation because I, as you guys know, the ones that I wear are very thin, light coverage. <laughs> and I feel like, I just feel like it's a lot right now. All right, so I have also this threesome palette from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Fly, but if you look at it, that bronzer is gonna be, I think, way too dark for me. Like, 
yeah it's gonna be way too dark for me so instead we're gonna use this little one from Too Faced this is the Sun Puppy bronze I actually used this in my Instagram tutorial that I filmed and I actually really like it I think it's really pretty on the skin so I'm just gonna dust this on all right so I can already tell you right now the foundation is not my favorite it is creasing so bad like up here where all my expression lines are really really bad it is creasing um, it's already showing me my smile lines, which I honestly don't get much smile lines anymore because I always use a lighter foundation and I found that if you have a, if you have, you know, more fine lines, um, especially the expression lines with your smile lines and all that, definitely use a lighter, thinner foundation and you will find that they won't settle in there. Um, I used to always struggle with them and then I started using lighter coverage foundations that weren't too thick and they, I never got them anymore. So yeah, I definitely, like I am creasing so bad underneath my eyes. I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in. I don't know how well you're gonna see it considering I've got lights on me and boards <laughs> that really soften the complexion on camera, but it's like even up here, like how I get so expressive because I don't do Botox. So they're all right there but yeah so I definitely feel like it's a little bit it's just settling a little bit too much in those areas that I'm not the biggest fan of so I don't think this is gonna be a foundation that I'm going to absolutely love all right so now finally getting into the Sailor Moon collaboration we have some new blushes that they came out with they came out with one that's called from the moon and one that's called cat's eye but I think they mispackaged mine and I think they put the same shade in both of them. I guess you guys were saying one was supposed to be a matte and one was supposed to be a shimmer, but they are both shimmers and they are both similar shades. I feel like the ones I saw on Instagram, one was supposed to be more pink, one was supposed to be more peach. That's what I saw. Um, but I think I definitely got packaged the wrong one, which is a bummer because I accidentally swatched them both. But I will go ahead and um, use one right here. I don't even know which one is the right shade for it, but it's the more pinker one. It has shimmer in it. But we're gonna use this color on the cheeks today. These are very, very pigmented. Whew. And now we're gonna go into the trusty Too Faced brush and blend that out like so. And then what I do on top of that is I take my sponge and I press it into the skin and it really just helps blend it even better. Never turn my back on our friends. You guys are probably gonna hear me sing this song a ton. For highlighter, we're gonna go into the Koki Cosmetics one, and this is the Soft Glow Highlighter in the shade Heavenly. I think it's really pretty. It's like a gold color. I'm gonna just take my highlighter brush from Com Complex Culture, and I'm just going to pop this up here on the cheekbones. It's really nice and subtle. I actually really like that. That is really, really pretty. So I'm gonna blend these two together. The blush is gorgeous from ColourPop, but heads up, it is super, super pigmented. So definitely doing that little trick of a fluffy brush afterwards and then also taking the sponge and pressing it together, it definitely blended out really pretty on the cheeks. Now getting into the eyes, this is the palette. Serious heart eyes over this palette, you guys. I'm obsessed. We're gonna have some fun with the colors for once. I never really do a bunch of colors, but we're gonna try it out today. So first off, I'm gonna go into Moon Castle right here. It's like a pretty light pink and I'm gonna pop this into my crease. All right, so next up is a fun color. And we're gonna go into the yellow. Let's see how this goes. I don't think I've, have I ever done a yellow on my lids before? I think maybe once in an IGT, yes, in an IGTV. I did a Lancome stick yellow. Um, but we're gonna try out this one and we're gonna see how this goes. I gotta grab a brush that's really gonna help pack on pigment. So I'm gonna grab this one from Sigma, it's their E54. This yellow's got a little bit of a shimmer, but I think this is actually gonna be really promising. So I'm gonna pack this all over the lid. I'm gonna keep this outer portion a little bit more bare because I decided I'm gonna actually pop another color there. But this yellow, holy moly, I didn't even put an eye primer on. I just have like foundation on my lids and that's it. And it's still so pigmented, like so pigmented. This is crazy. Wow. Can we just like take a moment for this yellow right here, which is called Justice? Yes. Wow. Wow. Blown away. Blown away. Anyways, we're going to go into this color now. 
this kind of corally pink. This is called Tuxedo Rose. And we're gonna pop this on the outer portion of the lid. It also looks very pigmented. Blend that up into the crease. I feel like I have a starburst on my eyes. Wow. This is really, really pretty, you guys. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, all right. So we're gonna go into, should we play with a little bit of the purple? I don't know how the purple's gonna look in the crease, but I mean, we might as well just do a little bit more color, right? Or should we just put the purple down below? I don't know. I'm horrible with this stuff. I never play with colors. I always wear neutral colored makeup. It's just my thing, but I'm having fun with this. So you know what? I wanna put the purple down below. <laughs> So we're gonna take a little pencil brush right here and I'm going to go into this matte purple shade called Miracle Romance and we're gonna pop this underneath the lids. Underneath the lids, underneath the lashes. At least this will also help totally hide my fine lines and wrinkles underneath my eyes. Win. This Morphe brush is really, really nice. This is the E36. I really love how small and precise it is. All right, so I think I'm gonna actually gonna keep it like this. I'm not gonna add any deeper colors in there. I think I, I think it's good the way it is, right? I'm actually pretty happy with the way that this turned out, but I honestly owe a lot to the shadows. They're very pigmented. They're super easy to blend out. They're awesome. Definitely pick up this palette if these colors speak to you or if you're a Sailor Moon fan. So, I mean, come on, you guys know me. Like, I would have totally just gone into this color or into this color or into that color usually, but I had to play with the bright colors in this one. And yeah, I had to bring out my inner Sailor Moon and Sailor Scouts with the colorfulness. But anyways, let's go ahead and add in some mascara. This is the Ardell Plus Precision Mascara. So it has a top one and a bottom one. So this is what the top one looks like. I don't use it because I have lash extensions but that's what it looks like. But I've been using the bottom one and it reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics, their liner mascara that they had. I, I don't hear anyone talking about that one anymore. Reminds me a lot of another one, but it's like the perfect bottom lash mascara. It makes it so easy to get those bottom lashes and mine are a pain in the butt. Like my lashes are a pain. I really like this. I've been trying it out for a while now and I've been enjoying it. All right, so for the lip color, we're gonna go into these ultra blotted lips from the collection as well. So we have the shade Bunhead, which is what Tuxedo Mask calls Serena or Usagi if you're watching Sailor Moon Crystal. Um, also Meatball Head in the English version. There's a lot of different versions, different names. Everything changes from each one, just so you guys know. And then we have Usagi. So I'm actually gonna use Usagi. Um, I hope I'm saying it right, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna use this one. Then I'm gonna top it off with Sailor Moon. This is the gloss. I would totally wear this gloss by itself. I would totally wear this lip color a ton, especially when it gets to the spring and the summertime, which we're kind of already getting to the spring. Um, but so pretty. Last but not least, we need to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I'm gonna spray this on. Melt everything together, please. I need like the little fan that they even do for like the lashes. I'm pretending that I have the fan right now. Whew. All right, so here is the completed look. I have to say, I really love the eye look. I love the lips. I'm not a fan of the foundation right now. <laughs> I feel like the foundation is making my skin look so old. It's really seeping into all my fine lines and wrinkles, like underneath my eyes. It's even like doing the same thing with my nose. And I never have foundation that does that with my nose. So... The foundation is a, probably a no-go for me, especially because I think it's not a good match for my skin type. I have a little bit more of a drier skin type, so I think a matte foundation like that is just not gonna look the best on it. It's got good coverage. Um, you might wanna try it out if you are oily. I think you definitely try it out. If you are more on the drier side or mature side, I'd probably pass on that one and go for a more luminous, thinner, lightweight foundation. Uh, but yeah, this one is just not my cup of tea. I'm gonna keep trying out the concealer because I can't really say a whole lot about it because I did mix it in with my hourglass. So I will let you guys know about the concealer. I will keep trying this out, but everything else I really love. The collection from Sailor Moon is beautiful. I think they did such a great job. I cannot wait to see what collaboration ColourPop is gonna come out with next. They had the Disney princesses, they had Frozen 2. They are just killing it and killing it and killing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will have everything linked down below if you want to take a closer look at it and I will see you guys in my Saturday's video.